We're in the archive of the Brick and Pierce Foundation and all around us you can see boxes of costumes, a huge amounts of correspondence, administrative files and so forth. It's an immensely varied collection, but one of the things that you won't find a great deal of is writings about the nature of art. Uh, Britain wasn't given to analysing his art particularly. One place where he does do it is in 1964, uh, in a speech that he uh, gave on receiving an award, which was later published in this little pamphlet here. One of the key things that he brings out about his art there is that it's designed to be useful. Uh, it's in, written for particular people, to be performed on particular occasions, in particular places, and the idea is that his music should be not composed in a vacuum, but written to be used. Friday Afternoons is a particular example of this. It's written for school children to perform to the piano, um, originally written for his brother, who was a school teacher. Uh, and it's been used by many, many different groups of school children over the years. One of the things that's particularly uh, touching, I think, in the archive is that we have an entire uh, album of fan mail that was sent to Britain in 1969 by the children of a school in Bilston in the West Midlands who had performed Friday Afternoons at the Wolverhampton Schools Music Festival and then wrote to Britain to tell him how much they'd liked the piece, to say which of the songs had been their particular favourite, and of course all of them to include a little picture. And the letterhead of virtually all of them shows us snake maltings and a picture of Britain at his piano. Uh, and it's a lovely example of the way that, uh, that Britain's art spans both the world of Snake Maltings and the Opera Festival, but also the world of this primary school in the West Midlands, where 50 years ago children were singing the songs that, that Britain had written for them to perform. Mm -hmm.